Hey everybody, Jake here, and today we're going to have a quick review of the Tucson TS-136 Stingray. Really interesting little knife, um, not that little actually, we'll go over that in a minute though. Um, but it's, it has some good stuff about it, but I can't really recommend it and we'll get into why. But first let's go ahead and do a quick size comparison. Alright, so first up I'll compare it to the other Tucson that I have in. This is the TS-80 Jaeger. It is a little bit bigger, not by much, but this is a deceptively large knife. And you'll see that in just a moment. Let's go ahead and bring out the Spyderco Dragonfly. So, although this knife looks pretty small, uh, the blade to handle ratio is pretty good on it as well. It's actually pretty decently sized. I'm going to bring up the ZT-0450CF. So you can see it is bigger than the CF. This is about a three and a half inch blade, if you're curious about that. A little bit less, I think. Let's go ahead and check. I'll bring out the booze blade smoke here. See, it looks like it's about a three and a half inch blade. Very similar in size to the booze blade smoke. Um, ever so slightly smaller blade, like literally a fraction of an inch and maybe a quarter inch on the handle length as well. Um, again, they really tried to fit as much blade into handle as they could here, and that's not necessarily a great thing. Uh, last comparison, we'll bring up the Heretic Cleric right here. Um, this is a super big knife, and it kind of dwarfs this guy. Alright, let's go ahead and go on to what I like about it. First thing is the design, um, appearance-wise. Really, really good, clean lines, super, super nice uh, kind of gentleman's tactical knife. I'm not really sure how else to phrase it. Um, the Tucson logo is a little bit large. I kind of wish they'd maybe put it, I don't know. I'm not really sure there's a spot to put it. It's much better than that. Maybe just shrink it down a little bit. Uh, the Maker's Mark, however, I find to be very, very attractive. I really, really like this design. Um, and you can see it is D2 steel here. So decent steel, um, very good materials overall. You have titanium liners and clip with carbon fiber scales. Um, so really, really cool. It is a liner lock, but it's a very, very thick liner, as you can see there. And there's also a bunch of ways to open this knife, which is really cool. You can, of course, do the front flipper thing. You can uh, open it with a thumb hole, which is probably the way I open it the most. You can also middle finger flick it. Oh, if you don't aim like that. You can, you can certainly get it if you don't hit your table, just to uh, let you know what went on there. Um, it's it's a really attractive design when closed, too. I, I'm not sure what I like about it. I do really, really like it. I prefer it more when it's open, but it's it's pretty nice when closed. The price on these is really, really good, in my opinion. Um, I picked this one up for about 50 bucks. You can find them new for... Mm, they, they always go on auction, which is weird for two sun knives. All of them go on auction like that. You can pick these up for, I would say, conservative estimates, 60 to 90 depending on how popular the model is. Or you can buy them straight up from sites like Amazon for about 75 to 80 bucks. And again, you're getting D2 steel, carbon fiber, and titanium. Um, most of their knives, if not all of them, are titanium and D2. I think they may have a few other steels but uh, D2 is the most prevalent. The The action on this knife is superb. Um, when I initially got it, if you watch the unboxing video and the initial impressions of the action wasn't super good on this one, uh, cleaned it up, put a little knife pivot lube in there, and it's awesome. Um, it does drop shut. It is very, very smooth, and it flies right open. Probably the, the only method that it doesn't always fly open is the, the front flipper method. Um, it usually does pretty good. It's just a really heavy blade, and the flipper tab could be a little higher, but we'll touch on that later. Overall, though, it's a pretty attractive knife, and functionality-wise, it does pretty good. The blade shape is is nice as well. I kind of like it's It's a compound grind, but it's hollow ground on... Uh, well, no, I think it's actually... It feels like a slight hollow grind. I believe it's ever so slightly hollow ground right here, and this is just a, a flat ground part for the uh, Tonto tip. But it's a very attractive blade, very attractive knife overall, and everyday functionality is just fine. Let's go and move on to the neutral. All right, a couple things of neutral here towards. Um, this is kind of petty, but the hardware color. 
Um, I really wish they had matched either the finish of the blade or the finish of the liners. It doesn't really match either, and it just kind of looks weird. Um, there's not a lot of exposed screws here. You only see four. Um, one on each side for the pivot, and then one here and one here to hold in the back spacer. It's a little tiny back spacer. Um, I kind of wish they made the back spacer come up higher because of the blade, and we'll talk about that definitely. Um, but it's it could be done a little bit better. Um, the fit and finish is okay on this knife. It's not excellent. There's no real, there's chamfering on the edges, but it's still a very blocky knife. There's a definite drop between the carbon fiber and the handle, and you feel that. Um, there's no gapping, really, between the back spacer, and, except right here. You can feel a little bit, and you may not even be able to see anything. Um, centering is a little bit off. You can tighten it down, but you really kill the action when you go to center it properly. Just a few little nitpick things. Um, not a whole lot here. Also, uh, I wish the knife were a little bit more narrow. It's pretty thick. I'll bring out the uh, dragonfly here to show you. Yeah, it's a pretty thick knife. But nothing super bad. Um, but let's go ahead and go on to what I dislike about it because there's some terrible stuff there. Alright, a couple things here. Uh, the There's two, really. Um things three things that I don't like here we'll go and go with the smallest first I really wish this this front flipper tab were a little bit higher up um, if you look at the booze blade smoke we'll line them up pivot to pivot you can see it goes quite a bit higher this knife is much easier to front flip you can do a slow roll you can get it out or again you can pop it right open it's no problem um, this one I generally find myself using a slow roll a lot more just because it's a really heavy blade and that low profile tab, if you do slip off, it hurts quite a bit. Um, again, you can get it open. However, a lot of times I'll find myself kind of half popping it open or slipping off, and it's just not excellent. I really wish they had raised that up a little bit. It makes it incredibly uncomfortable to open with a front flipper tab. So at that point, I would probably just trim it off if, if you could. Um, however, that would affect the ergonomics on this knife. Next up is the pocket clip. Super attractive. Again, I love the appearance of this knife, but it's not functional. I'll show you why right here. There is literally the tiniest amount of ramp. Like, you could put this in a shirt pocket, maybe. Um, however, this knife is way too heavy and way too large to be put in a shirt pocket. Um, again, super awesome clip. I loved the design. There's no branding or anything. It's really, really cool, but it doesn't work. You have to lift this clip up to get it into jeans, and it is a little bit tense. It's a little bit of a uh, of a tense milled clip here. It's not excellent functionality-wise. I love it appearance-wise, but clips need to work, and this one just doesn't. And last thing on the dislike, um, if you look at my thumb right here, you can see a bit of a a bit of a healing wound there. Um, that's because I got about a half inch cut into my thumb while this knife was closed in my pocket because of this. I don't know how well you can see it, but you can see, you see that silver line in between the scales? That's the exposed blade. It runs along the entirety of the back and it will and can cut you. I didn't cut myself down here. I cut myself probably around the middle while literally reaching into my pocket to get this knife. Um, that's not okay. So this is going to be getting sold literally after you're done filming this video because I'm not gonna tolerate that. That's insane, and it runs, again, the entirety of the knife. It's it's crazy. Let me see if you, you can kind of see it there. If you look right down the center, that runs all the way down. If they had brought, they could have brought the back spacer up, literally like to here or something, and it would have been fine because it doesn't have a regular flipper tab. The only thing you'd have to create any clearance for is, is this front flipper tab. So you could probably bring it up to like here, and it would, it would be okay. And they could have fit all this blade in here, but they didn't. And that's just, that's not okay to me, uh, to be even selling this design. All right, on to the conclusion. So in conclusion, this knife is very well designed. It has a really good action, excellent price point, but I don't recommend it because in practical, everyday use, it sucks. Um, if you want a display piece, sure, you know, why not? Um, I wouldn't really call it a display knife. I, I would 
call it like a gentlemanly EDC kind of thing, but it doesn't work in the pocket. The clip sucks when you go to reach down for the knife, it's going to cut you open. It's just not, it's not good. It's, it looks really nice, but you know, it's, it's super thick. It's still pretty heavy, even with the carbon fiber and titanium. All that exposed blade, and by the way, you can feel that when you, if you close the knife with your hand resting there, you'll feel it press the blade press against your fingers. It, it's not an insignificant thing, and the clip just doesn't work at all. It's an abs This is the worst pocket clip I've ever seen in my life. If you go way, way, way back to the like the first few videos I made, I have a, a video on the Kaiser Klecker Compact. That is the second worst clip I've ever had in my entire life. It is. It was nearly impossible to get into jeans, but you could do it. You can't with this one. You really have to lift up that clip and put it in. So this knife, I, I carried it once. It cut me open. It was hard to get in the pocket, and I won't be carrying it anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and move it along to someone who wants it. I'm not sure why they would, but, you know. So I'll go ahead and get this sold. I hope you all have a wonderful day and that you don't buy this knife. Um, there are much better Tucson knives out there, much better knives in this price range that will not hurt you when you just have them closed in your pocket. And if you have any questions about anything, just let me know down in the comments. Thanks, guys. Bye.